I'm gonna just cut her all the way back down to the soil, all right? It's a nice warm, well not warm day, but it's better. <laughs> it's better, I'll tell you that much. Um, always, always experiment before you throw anything out. Experiment, see what's gonna work, cause you never know, maybe just covering up more. And this is what it's looking like when I cut it off. Really, really mushy on the inside all the way through. So we're just gonna cut it all the way back and then we're gonna cover her up, all right? All right, so I'm gonna take a trash bag. We're just gonna cover her up. Then in a few weeks, we're gonna see what she looks like under here, okay? But for now, we're just gonna cover her up. Make sure all the forks. bring the greenhouse out these will go into the greenhouse but for now we're just going to cover them up to see how bad they look you know me i like to regrow things so we try anyway as you see with the cat so. all right the good thing is the soil is not frozen which i'm really shocked about all right guys Bag. We're gonna wrap her also. I'm gonna make sure it goes around the forks. <laughs> now, don't forget, now the same type of, <coughs> excuse me, the climate is changing. Um, and in your area, you may live in 7B, but you gotta make sure, like I live in 7B, so whoever lives in 7B, we all don't have the same atmosphere, climate, um, temperatures could be different, coldness could be different, it could be different, okay, because I live in Atlantic City, New Jersey, I live close, I don't, I live closer to the beach, and more closer to the beach than the inside, I live on the outside of Atlantic City, okay, so it's closer to the beach, so that means we're getting more salt air, you know, so I help, I, th I think that's helping tremendously. Now, I didn't rip these things. 
couple of them over here. So cover them back up. And I'm just gonna put them back under my little makeshift greenhouse as you see it over there. <laughs> For now, it's one. And I wanna show you guys something that's growing to get shocked with. So right now we're just covering her up. Now, what works for you may not work for me, okay? Like I said, with different changes in the atmosphere, and what works for me might not work for you, all right? So you have to pay attention to your garden. Just pay attention to your garden, okay? Pay attention to your garden. Listen to your garden. It's telling you Right, guys let's finish with that <clears throat> now guys i'm gonna show you something i did i just noticed it was still growing in the garden and i'm excited for it let's go all right guys so we are over here with our greens they still look marvelous i mean they still look really good of course the spinach died out on me but look under here guys do y'all see that that is um, spinach, yes. This was lettuce. I'm sorry. Lettuce is right here. The spinach is growing, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. I just happened to come out here and move things around. And I cannot believe that the spinach is growing so beautiful, guys. Look how gorgeous. I couldn't believe it. That spinach under there. Wow. Amazing amazing How amazing these greens still look good like wow like wow look at that y'all see that it's trying to grow like a head you see it it's trying to grow like a cabbage head that is just absolutely beautiful guys we're gonna be having greens all summer but look i just i'm just amazed at this spinach under there oh wow look at that one so the spinach was actually doing well. I thought that bin died back, but it didn't. It's doing excellent, so I'm happy for that. Now let's check on that broccoli that was covered up. <sighs> and she still actually looks good. Let's see. Uh, focus. Uh, there we go. So that's what she's looking like. Every time I'm outside, I feel like I'm catching a cold, but I'm not. <laughs> Ah, my poor orange tree. We're still not going to cover her up. We're just going to leave her as she is. She's still doing well. She just has some curling of the leaves, but she's doing fine. So, yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to show you guys. What I was doing. Let's look under here and see what's going on. Anything growing under there? I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing yet, guys. It's been that cold. This was good. All right. Um, I'm gonna put some pole beans out here into this trellis here. That's what we're gonna do right there. But other than that, guys, yeah. And let me show you this. I'm gonna laugh at it, and you guys are gonna laugh at it too. But my little makeshift greenhouse is falling apart already. I was gonna put a top layer on it, but it started snowing. And so we decided we're just going to take this all down and put the greenhouse that's in the house, put it out here, all right? So everything will be switched around this summer, but it's looking good. 
it's looking good. Like I said, my trees are ready to start their thing. Look at those. Gorgeous. You see those nodes? Like, that's what we want to see. And you guys remember, every tree that I bought around here was tall. And I chopped them down really good. But you can see, just with a little research, what you can do and believe in yourself, all right? Never let anyone tell you, oh, that's not going to grow. Why are you doing that to the tree? Why are you doing this to the tree? Take your, look at how beautiful that is. Take your time and your stuff will grow fine. Because remember, we all live in different growing zones, but different temperatures in our growing zones. Okay, guys? So that is like, you know, I'm just trying to give you a little something. <laughs> Everyone doesn't have the same temperatures. Everyone doesn't have the same atmosphere. Look how beautiful. This gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Focus. I'm not sure you don't want to focus, but she's looking good. All right, guys? So that's what she's looking like. Let's go inside. There's a little makeshift greenhouse. Okay, so those are the two banana plants that I re, you know, down, cut back. I'm sorry. And we're going to start them over again. Because guess what I've learned? Over this past year, I've learned about banana plants. They're very resilient. They are heavy feeders, and just with a little snow. There's a lot of things that make up snow, guys, all right? So I don't mind the snow. I don't mind the snow. There's so much nutrition in this fresh water that's coming out of the sky, guys, that it's gonna help your plants. It's gonna make the grass grow bigger, taller, and greener. Your plants are gonna be like, wow, you're gonna be really amazed. And I'm going to just send my prayers out to Texans out there. For you gardeners, for anyone that lives in the Texas area, I'm sending my prayers and condolences to everyone that's lost anyone or just lost anything, gardening-wise or whatever. But just believe in yourself. Have faith, guys, and you'll begin to grow, too. And so this is like my second year of growing. And this is my first year of growing my trees and I think I am doing such a wonderful job on these trees okay but don't forget guys if you're in your garden pick your phone up or your camera up and make a video never want let anyone tell you to take a break because while they're telling you to take a break they're not taking a break YouTube is all about views so put your videos up if you're trying to make this as a job put your videos up and do what you gotta do to get your views up, okay? It's all that ice so hard. <sighs> I don't know what's in there. But we're gonna leave a lot of those potatoes and sweet potatoes in there. So yeah, my little makeshift is coming down next week and I will be back for that video next week. But before then, we'll do another video, of course, but on the weekend next week, we'll be taking this down. We'll be putting up the greenhouse out here. And then also the potatoes are they're still dying back. Um, so I had like three there, but it's okay. We're overwintering potatoes, okay? Because remember I said guys, we have potatoes growing in this area over here. And I need to move these buckets down. So let's move the buckets. There we go. Let's put this one down there too because this is where our potatoes are actually growing in this area here so you can't tell right now of course because it's still winter and um, we still have a few more winter days frost or whatever but yeah we're definitely going to be doing some great things this year in the garden and i cannot wait to show you guys what you could do in your little small space, okay? Don't forget, I live in a small, I live in a community. So as you can see what I'm talking about, you get my drift, see? So I have to share space. And this is the only thing when you share space, people don't care about your space and your property until you do something to their property and space, okay? So 
this is what it's all about guys just the beautifulness of having a garden whether things are growing or whether they're just standing still and getting rest all right guys so let's grow together so we can eat together <laughs>